Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to explore things to do in Alabama. Alabama is a state that is both regarded for its history and grossly underrated as a travel destination. Let's start by breaking down what it is you need to know about Alabama and what it has to offer. The state is home to the most notable and important events of the civil rights era. From Rosa Parks refusing to give up her seat to the work of figures like Martin Luther King Jr. and revered T.Y. Rogers, Alabama truly was at the forefront of it all. If you enjoy a mixture of learning and exploring on your travels, there are plenty of ways to make sure that you get the most well-balanced visit to Alabama. On top of the history that you can brush up against, the U.S. Space and Rocket Center is just one of many places you can go to learn more about science and aerospace. And Alabama has parks, beaches, great hiking, interactive museums, and a great mixture of large cities and small, charming towns. Before we jump into the video, I want to ask you to hit the like and subscribe button, then click the bell so you will be notified every time we upload a new video. Rosa Parks Library and Museum Rosa Parks is a prominent part of not only Alabama history, but the entire civil rights movement and the way that the United States now operates. 50s Montgomery was certainly a different place, and when Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat, a story that most people are quite familiar with, it sparked something that helped to catalyze the movement that we now look back on. There are historic markers where she was arrested for refusing to give her seat up to that white man, as was custom at the time, and the museum itself focuses on Park's story, as well as how it fit into the rest of the movement. An active memorial to Rosa Parks and the following Montgomery bus boycott, this museum helps give us some insight into the period that brought about racial integration of transportation and turned the international eye to what the civil rights movement was doing. You can see the original fingerprinted arrest record of Mrs. Parks, a reconstructed 1950s Montgomery City bus, court documents, original works of art, among other artifacts. The museum hosts cultural events, educational programs, and a rotating cycle of temporary exhibits to give visitors a clear and dynamic view of this period of history. U.S. Space and Rocket Center We can't talk about Alabama without mentioning the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. The center is located in the north part of the state, near Huntsville, and is quite easy to pass as you take the highway further down to Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, or even further south. The center, known as USSRC, is the official visitor center for NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center as well as a Smithsonian affiliate. The USSRC's collections of rockets and space memorabilia is one of the largest in the world. You can tour the museum in group visits and it is a great stop for kids, adults and families to enjoy. There truly is something for everyone to enjoy here. Not only can you explore the museum portion, but there are also things like a flight simulator to give you an idea of what it feels like to be the one controlling an aircraft. Birmingham Civil Rights Institute if you are heading down to the Birmingham area, the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute is a great stop. Connected to the Birmingham Civil Rights National Monument, which is an important collection of sites tied to the civil rights movement, you'll be able to do everything from examining a replica of a Freedom Riders bus to experiencing a version of a segregated city as it would have been in the 1950s. This experience is an incredibly insightful one and you should plan to go into it ready to learn and to feel some strong emotions as you connect to the intense past of the state and its people. The museum holds the jail cell door, yes, the real one, behind which MLK Jr. wrote the famous Letter from Birmingham Jail, among other memorabilia and reminders of that time in our not-so-distant history. Huntsville Botanical Garden. First opened back in 1988, these gardens have grown and developed into something truly great. Yes, if you're going to be spending time in Huntsville, this is a must-see stop. And just a quick note that if you're planning on visiting the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, the Botanical Gardens make for a brilliant add-on. They're both in the same area. The Botanical Garden calls itself the Community Garden and operates under that ethos of being a responsible member of their community. You'll get to hear about the leadership roles that they have taken on environmental issues, including sustainability, while exploring the gardens themselves. Birmingham Museum of Art. This art museum, located in the heart of beautiful Birmingham, the state's largest city, is regarded as one of the best museums in this region of the United States and is well worth spending some time there. Founded in 1951, the building is a three-story structure complete with a sculpture garden located outside. The Birmingham Museum of Art is home to a diverse collection of paintings, well over 25,000 of them, sculpture work, prints, drawings, and even decorative art spanning from ancient to contemporary times. Regardless of the style or period, 
you are drawn to, it is easy to find work that you can enjoy browsing here. Frank Lloyd Wright's Rosenbaum House. The famed architect Frank Lloyd Wright just so happens to have a house in Alabama. Back in the 1930s, Wright built four buildings that are often regarded as beautiful beyond measure in styles that have not since been matched. The Rosenbaum House is one of the four, along with Falling Water, which is perhaps the most famous of the Wright buildings. Rosenbaum House stands as one of the purest examples of Usonian architecture. Hold on, what on earth is Usonian architecture, you might be asking? Well, back in the 30s, when Wright was constructing his buildings, the Great Depression was devastating millions across the world, including the majority of Americans. The Usonian prototype was created by Frank Lloyd Wright to address the need for affordable homes for middle-class families in a way that would redefine how living spaces were seen. You'll learn all about Wright's architecture and ideas on your visit, so I'll leave you with that small introduction for now. The visit won't take up your whole day, but you could very well spend a few hours exploring and learning about the area. M. Swain Science Center The mission of McWayne Science Centers is to spark wonder and curiosity about our world through Hanson Science. Millions of visitors come to the center each year, and you'll find that the interactive experience is well worth the visit. You'll find permanent exhibits like the Itty Bitty Magic City, Alabama Dinosaurs, Science on a Sphere, World of Water Aquarium, and so many more. There are also rotating temporary exhibits to explore. Who knows what you will find when you visit? Hands-on engagement is the most important pillar of the McWayne Science Center, making it a fun way to spend a rainy afternoon or to take a break from exploring outside. Stay at the Grand Bohemian Hotel in Mountain Brook. Hit the Birmingham Zoo and the Botanical Gardens during the day and then check into the Grand Bohemian Hotel in Mountain Brook nearby. This luxurious property has richly decorated interiors with bold artwork and fun patterns that add a nice touch to the beautiful rooms. Take a day to spend at the spa before laying out at the swimming pool and finishing off with a delicious dinner at the rooftop restaurant. Talladega Super Speedway. If you have any interest at all in NASCAR, even if you don't, the Talladega Super Speedway is must see. The longest NASCAR oval, the Super Speedway spans for two whiskey six miles. The next largest speedway, the Daytona International Speedway, is about 2.5 miles long. At times, you might even see the Talladega Super Speedway at its full capacity of 175,000 spectators. Talk about a crowd! Civil Rights Memorial Center in Montgomery. The city of Montgomery is known as the birthplace of the Civil Rights Movement and the Civil Rights Memorial Center is a project created by the Southern Poverty Law Center that is worth exploring. This is one of the premier civil rights centers in Alabama and honors the martyrs and champions of the movement. Visitors can spend hours learning about the complexities of the movement and you'll find yourself inspired to continue fighting for equality. The memorial was dedicated in 1989 and is inspired by the famous I Have a Dream speech. The memorial is a circular table made of black granite with water emerging from the center and major events of the civil rights movement are chronicled, along with names of 40 people that lost their lives during the movement. Take some time to sit at this spot and reflect on the history of a state that is both beautifully complex and was at the center of monumental change. Hit the beach at Gulf Shores. Gulf Shores has it all. Beaches, bars, volleyball nets, great restaurants, and good company. This is the perfect way to get more of a classic vacation-style element during your visit to Alabama, you can head down Highway 59 until it dead ends into the Gulf and enjoy time relaxing by the water. You haven't truly been to Alabama without hitting Gulf Shores. All the locals go here and it is a hot spot for everyone from families to college kids, couples and even individuals wanting to spend some time unwinding in a beautiful area. Lake Nicole. Speaking of the water, there is another wonderful spot just near Tuscaloosa. So if you have a few days before or after coming into town for a game day, you can head to Lake Nicole for some cliff jumping, hiking, or simply to sit in the sun with some friends. The area is so well maintained, which is such a draw for all of the students and Tuscaloosa natives. But visitors are always welcome. Not only is the area beautiful, but it is also quite accessible and is best visited early or later in the day when traffic is a bit lighter. Paul W. Bryant Museum. You can, of course, experience the heart of Alabama football at the Bryant-Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, but there is a museum that can bolster your knowledge even more. The Paul W. Bryant Museum was opened in the fall of 1988 and holds plenty of memorabilia and other artifacts that walk you through the long, exciting history of the Crimson Tide football team. This museum is on the University of Alabama's campus and is dedicated to sharing the love and history of the state's most famous football team. 
Alabama Aquarium at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab. You may be surprised to learn just how many science-based museums and centers there are around the state. The Alabama Aquarium at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab used to be known as the Estuarium and is an exciting venue that is focused on highlighting the key habitats of coastal Alabama in an educational way. You'll see the Mobile Tensor River Delta, Mobile Bay, the Barrier Islands, and the Northern Gulf of Mexico highlighted upon visiting. Check out the 7,000-gallon Stingray Touch Pool, the 10,000-square-foot Exhibit Hall, and the Living Marsh Boardwalk. The facility is home to no less than 31 aquariums, which adds up to 30,000 gallons and over 100 species of marine life. Montesano State Park. Speaking of parks, the Huntsville area also has some great outdoor spaces like Montesano State Park, which means the mountain of health. Enjoy some fresh air, mineral springs, and amazing views. The lodge is great for functions, and you might find yourself attending an event hosted at the park. Otherwise, you can stay at one of the 14 rustic cabins, or enjoy one of 89 campsites if you're looking to stay amongst the beautiful nature that the park has. This is also a great way to make sure that you get to check out the unparalleled sunrises here. Explore the 20 miles of trails to hike and the other 14 miles of biking trails atop the mountain. Stay at Hotel Indigo in Tuscaloosa. If you're coming into town for a football game or stopping by Tuscaloosa on your way to any of our other sites, you'll be in need of a good place to stay. Hotel Indigo in Tuscaloosa's downtown offers up the perfect blend of great views and a central location. You'll be within easy walking distance of the Saturday morning farmer's market at the Riverwalk and plenty of hot downtown restaurants and clubs. The rooms are stylish and modern, and the hotel has a restaurant that rivals some of the amazing food that is located nearby. You can enjoy your evening on the rooftop terrace and bar before heading out to listen to some live music or call it a night and enjoy a movie in your room. That's Alabama in a nutshell. You won't want to miss out on the educational opportunities either. The history of the state has so much value and it's important to stay in touch with such a critical fabric of Alabama. Its history is part of what adds so much to its value. Hopefully this video shows you that Alabama truly is a great state to visit and that it's underrated as hell.